Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Sunday, June 14th, 1 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. Cosmic Ray Alert. Heads up. Estimated planetary K index has been on the floor for 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21 hours. And we are approaching a KP0 day, and that means... Cosmic ray risks, right in the center here, acute myocardial infarction, cerebral stroke, terminal arrhythmia, anxiety, stress, emotional instability, cognitive diminution, uptick in traffic accidents, work injuries, protesting nightmares, riots, suicide risk, mental disorder flare-ups, radiation risk, enhance alert for those with ventricular dysfunction and ischemic cardiomyopathy, and for airline passengers in high latitudes, Heads up, cosmic rays are raining down on your heads right now. Let's take a look at the telemetry. We can see that we have a spike in plasma here, density, and that may bring us up off the deck, and that may save us from a cosmic ray day, but not from what has already occurred. This insanity has been set into unstable humans, and bad things may be happening right now. And as far as the prognosis for... Continuing on planet Earth, another mini solar max is in the offing. This is the newest prediction coming out for solar cycle 25, a prediction for the amplitude, and it is going to be just as weak or weaker than 24 as we predicted. Our prediction is 10 to 30% weaker than 24, which means not that many sunspots and lots of KP0 days moving forward the rest of your life. Now, we're going to have some solar activity for the next three to five years as we reach solar max in cycle 25, but cycle 25's max will be actually very low as far as solar maxes are considered. We just came off of solar max for the last 150 years. And so the last 14 cycles have, for the most part, all been larger than the last two. And we are heading into another grand minima, which means a series of solar cycles which get weaker and weaker and weaker. And we are also in a magnetic excursion, which means more cosmic rays and more societal effects in very unpredictable and damaging weather. And let's take a quick seismic update here. We've had lots of uh, seismic activity around the world, all insignificant in mid-ocean ridges or deep in regions that no one even felt it. 6.2 in the Marianas. The 6.6 .6 here offshore of Japan about 27 hours ago. And we're even rumbling up here in Idaho, 4.2. Nothing significant, no damage. What we should see is an uptick in volcanic activity over the next several days. And we have Sabankaya at 23,000 feet, Popo at 20,000, Fuego at 14,000, Kluchiskov at 20,000. And lots of eruptions happening. None significant but lots of eruptions. And let's talk about El Nino. It's not likely this year. Further boosting chances of a busy hurricane season. Now, El Nino versus La Nina is the sea surface heating here in our oceans. And we can see the blue cold subsurface waters moving up towards South America here. This would be more indicative of a La Nina pattern. You can see the temperature difference here in the dark blue region up to six degrees C cooler. And that would be the difference between La Nina versus El Nino. El Nino would be warm sea surface. La Nina would be cool sea surface temperatures. And if you want to know more, I'll, I'll give you links to the June El Nino update from the Pet Projects, where you can learn all about El Nino and La Nina. A developing La Nina is beginning to look likely for this winter, which means record snow and other things for many regions, droughts for other areas. And it also makes a difference in the hurricane season. As we transition from El Nino to La Nina, there is a neutral period. And it's looking like this summer will be neutral. And a neutral period uh, is indicative of an increase in hurricanes. And hurricane records have already been broken this season, and it just started. So we had some of the earliest hurricane development in recorded history. And if you want to know more about El Nino and La Nina weather patterns, Read this article, and it'll show why we're going to be at ENSO neutral during the summer and move back into that La Nina. Now, typical, typical wintertime pattern for La Nina, this is this winter we're 
uh, heading into, which will be a cool pattern in the northwest, wet and cool, record snows in the North Sierras all the way up through the Cascades, record snows in the northeast, extremely wet, a pattern indicative of building ice up here in the Canadian Shield. Dry and warm just in the very southern regions, but that's about it. Global patterns, well, La Nina climate impacts for the globe show a cooling in the tropics. And this is bad for coffee. A good friend of ours, David Dubine at Adapt 2030, found out about this almost a decade ago. What is happening with these cooling patterns in the coffee? Also cooling here in East uh, West Africa, the West Coast of South America, and the Caribbean. So that's just a heads up there. If you want to know more about La Nina, come check out the North Carolina Climate Office uh, as an educational menu here on La Nina where you can learn about the ENSO cycles. The La Nina events are the cool events below. El Nino warming above. And you can see after we reach solar max here, we are going to be getting into more of these cooling events as we move forward. And really excellent video footage coming out today about of a spectacular hail shaft in Calgary. More of this to come. Increased hail, increased cloud nucleation, increased precipitation. I hope you're picking it up. We just put the shaft right down. Hope you got something out of the video. Times are changing. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And be safe. The KP is at zero. And it has been for 21 hours. And those cosmic rays, they're raining down. They're heating the muons in the subsurface. Increasing that volcanic activity, nucleating more clouds, causing flooding events, and making people go crazy. And if you have, well, acute myocardial infarction or other heart ailments, please stay calm. That's a boom. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors. Become a Patreon and support the channel. Be safe. That's a boom. Nanu, 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 nanu. Oh, I never turn my video on. Hey, guys. Have a great day.